Welcome back for another of free and budget campsites. Mate, just letting you know that we're at a place called Lake Broadwater. It's just outside of Dalby, around uh, 20 kilometres. Mate, I'm coming here at the moment and the park, I'm pretty impressed with the park. It's a nice area, lots of bins, a couple of toilets around the place, which I'll show you eventually. Um, mate, it's cheap. It's like I said, it's six bucks. Well, actually, six seventy-five. You know those quarters I told you about? They do it the here. So yeah, look, um, it's six dollars seventy-five for uh, a campsite and an extra five dollars for um, power if you want. The powered sites are down the other end. We'll have a look at them very shortly. Um, I'll give you a look at the park right now. Let's go. check-in uh, for the COVID. Look, there's a little bit of a bulletin board here and that, and you can actually see where you are. There is a map of the lake over here, and there's also some about some wildlife, about the birds that are over here and that. Just a bit of information about that. So, look, if you've got nothing to do, have a bit of a read-up. When you turn up here, if you turn up and trees is not here, there is a box over here where you insert your envelope. Show it up the right way, do you? Fill out the information, just ask for uh, phone number, name, address, vehicle number. Mate, really have to only put your vehicle registration and your full name. You can say whereabouts you live, you know, it's up to you if you want to put your address, but just rego number, name, you don't even have to sign it. Just put the date on it and everything else in there and slip it straight into this box in here. Easy done. Right, uh, here's some of the campsites you can actually get on. Look, there's one here. Uh, it's a bit of a, you know, it's a long way. You can drive straight through it. You've got your own fire pit. But like I said, just be careful of overhead hanging trees. You might wipe the top of your caravan out. Right here, clampers, this is some of the uh, powered sites you get here. Like I said, it's only an extra five bucks a night. It's $6.75 to stay, plus another $5. So it works out at $11.75, mate. You can't beat that. They don't take bookings, so it's first in, best dress. Most of the sites you get here are drive-through sites. You don't have to unhook or anything, just drive straight through. The box behind me is the electricity box. Ta-da! You lift it up, plug in, and off you go. With these sites, there's plenty of shaded areas and plenty of room for solar if you need it. You just have to park where you want. There's plenty of options. There's un Look, the trees are pretty, like, sort of 
thin through here so it does offer a little bit of shade and it gives you a lot of solar mate the sun is beaming, beaming down, down here at the moment well it was it's coming in the afternoon and it's behind a cloud at the moment so you won't be getting much solar when it's behind a cloud a little bit maybe a thorny little bit but anyway just letting you know that there is places facilities here you can park in the sun or in the shade all good Okie dokie, clampers. We're down at the other end of the park at the moment. It's a decent sized park. Mate, from down there to down here, it's what? 400 to 500 metres? So you can fit a, quite a few RVs, caravans and everything else in here. Now, uh, the park has got uh, sign, not signposts, but light posts all the way through down here. So we're not really totally in the dark when you're actually here itself. So look, once you come here, you'll be able to see where you're going. You've got what? three or four lights all the way down here so look it's a safety thing it's a good thing too just heads up also you've got lots and lots of little marquees where you can sit and have your barbecue mate i'm looking down here and i can see four or five that way and there are heaps down that way so near enough every location where you park you get your own little marquee so yeah when it's raining and everything else you want to sit underneath that beautiful at least you don't get wet Mate, these are nice. You know what I mean? They're, look, like I said before, this park's only really been open for four months. But all the benches and everything else, it looks like that wood veneer look. It's aluminium. Look, it's going to last for a while, but... Mate, seriously. They've done the park up real well. I really like this park. It's near enough to one like it, the same as Chinchilla at the Weir. They've done the sort of same sort of plans for this joint compared to that so if you like the weir and chinchilla come out here oh no talk to you soon phone call oops it's always the way right i'm on the far end of the campsite at the moment and mate there is still allocations for undercover party area well marquees if you want to call them there's other names for them but i just call them marquee but you've got even three down here look, look Air everywhere seriously there's plenty of facilities around this area mate everywhere you look at there's things to do there's wood everywhere find a dead tree and burn it yeah, yeah. right out at this park they've got playgrounds for your kids look there's plenty of things around here for your kids to do so the adults can relax have a bit of a wine sit back read a book have a bit of a snooze you know what it's like when you get old but look there's plenty of things to do here for the kids the lake's just out there, um, it's not that deep at the moment, the water level's really low, but you've got playgrounds, you've got bushwalks, you've got everything here to keep them occupied. And you've also got barbecues, electrical barbecues, and looks like they're clean. Go yeah. on your campus for cleaning them. Mate, the electric barbecues, they are for free, just push the button and a la peanut butter sandwiches, you've got a barbie. Free of charge! I said free, I tell you free! Rightio Clampers, just letting you know they've got a massive camp kitchen. Two big sinks, everything else, and there's water in there. But I'll give you a heads up, water's not drinkable. It's not portable water out here. So if you want drinkable water, bring your own. Here's the camp kitchen itself. It's a big camp kitchen. Whoa. Wow. It's bigger than the kitchen I've got at home. Look, you've got two sinks over here, which are push button and everything else, and they're deep, so you can do lots and lots of washing, and hopefully that turns off in a sec. It will, I hope. Anyway, you've also got two hot plates, which are fantastically clean, which is a good thing on my books for you guys. So if you do come here, like I said, clean your Barbie plate when you're finished. It's not hard. Uh, you've got actually four plug, you've got four power points either side, so you've got electrical items, toasters, whatever, bring it over, plug it in, a la peanut butter sandwiches, you've got toast. Or electric fry pan or whatever, it's up to you. Um, this place has got lighting, LED lighting, so it does light up at night time. I'm assuming I'm going to have a look at it tonight to see if it does light up or if there's a button or it works on a sensor or if they're on all the time. But even still, that's plenty of time for you to come, cook, eat, clean, go home, sleep. And maybe a couple of ales in between that. Clambers water. 
don't drink it. Look, it's not portable water. Um, it's just there really for washing your feet, wash your dishes. Well, you've got a sink in there to do it anyway. So look, that's probably filling up a water tin or something or other. It's up to you what you want to do. But as an outside tap, don't fill your RV with it. It's either rainwater or bore water. Uh, majority of it should be rainwater. The toilets are rainwater, but I was talking to a lady who actually works here in it, and she said that taps probably bore water. Heads up. Righto, when you come here, Clambers, mate, the gardens are fantastic. They've kept them really, look, like I said, they're only a couple of months old, but at the moment, it is a really nice outlay, actually copied from chinchilla and everything else. Fantastic. And these flies, if I catch one, I'm going to, I want to eat it. Fly season very shortly, so wear your air guard. But anyway, like I said, there's a bush garden here, and it's really, really nice. All the gardens around here, they've done it up really, really nice. Like, I mean, I am very impressed with the council. Go council. Right now, right behind me is a big hall that can cater 21st, 18, weddings, engagements, funerals, if you really want to do a funeral but any party at all. I forgot birthday parties, oh duh. Look, they've got fridges in there, they've got all the allocations that you need, tables, chairs, um, fridge, those big fridges for everything else. So look, if you want to come up here, uh, ring Teresa up on the phone number that's on Wikicamps, give her a bit of a call, organize the, uh, the hall to be rented out for you. Mate, seriously, the views are spectacular up here. You've got the big gates that can open, and you can have your wedding right down here, beautiful. And your wife will love you. Now, the good thing about this place is all the campsites are pretty level. As you can see here right now, everyone is really level. I haven't even have to chalk my van up. All it is parked, check with the level. It's all good with me. I'm looking around at all these other campsites. They haven't even got wheel chalk, so it's all good. These flies, I'm serious, I'm gonna eat one. I'm, I'm strange if I did. All right, let's have a look at the park a little bit more. Right, eh? same as most of the other campsites and stuff like that. They've got a big, huge communal fire pit. If you want to come here, start a fire, sit around here, have a couple of ales, tell a couple of yarns, a couple of stories, look at the, um, the actual lake itself. Beautiful. You can't buy this anywhere. You can only rent it here. <laughs> They're right behind me, you've got the females one side, males the other side. They've got hot and cold showers in here, so look, everything's brand new here. It's only been open for around four months. So look, the idea is to get here while everything's brand new, so it's five star. Look at yeah, it's fantastic, mate, seriously. You've got around 15 powered sites. The rest of them is just other campsites where you want to go around and just and park. Mate, it's really nice. Seriously, I like it here. I'm gonna come here again, definitely for sure. Howdy duty, sunny clampers, mate. We're just letting you know that there's got two toilets down here. The other facilities is right here. There'll be an outdoor cold shower here if you wanna use it. But if not, the other facilities down the other end of the campsite, hot and cold showers for sure. Look, the toilets are brand new down here, mate. There are bins everywhere around here, so there's no excuse. Again. Picked up nearly enough a full garbage bag. You know, like, seriously, it's not hard. Look how close the bin is. Mate, it was less than 10 metres away. What? So, it's what it is. Like I said, no trace. trace. Till next time, clampers. Talk to you soon. Right at the lake entrance. Look, you can actually tell how shallow it is at the moment because of the water. It is mud. And you can actually see the water line. I'll give you a bit of a look seeing right now. Have a look. Now, that water line is normally up a bit higher. Uh, now, the ramp itself. The uh, ramp, I'll give you a quick look at that. If you look at the ramp right now, you can see where the water line normally sits and everything else. But at the moment, it is so low. So, look, I've seen some people walk out there, so around oh, probably 20, 30 metres out there, and it was not even past their knees. So it is pretty shallow at the moment. So, But you can take paddle boards. I see a few people with a couple of canoes. Um, there was 
Well, there's, there's one out there. I don't know if you can see him. I'll just turn the camera a little bit so you can see him. He's out there. Wave hello. I don't think you can see us. But anyway, look. You can take your paddle boards out here. I did see someone before on a paddle board. Uh, he's not there anymore, so he must have got eaten by a crocodile. No, 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 there's no crocodiles out here, trust me. There's none. Look, there would be signs, everything else, and at the moment, around this area, it's too cold for them. They don't like the cold weather. They want the warm weather, so they have warm food. That's, that's, that's what it must be. In the cold weather, it's like eating cold food. But in the hot weather, it's like eating hot takeaway, yeah. you know? Pakistan bloke come by, have naan bread, or you get a Thai person with, you know, Pad Thai chicken, you know, like that. No, nah, mate, Jake, look, watch out for crocodiles when you go up, up um, north, far north, right up the top of um, Darwin, um, the Kimberleys, uh, all up the top there, um, Cape York, you know, Cape Town. Oh, no, 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 no. Down here, too cold. They don't like it. Look, it's the way it is, it's the way it is. Let's have a look at the park a little bit more. This lake can hold skiing, power boats, jet skis, etc., etc. Anything power, you can actually bring in this lake. But at the moment, the water levels are too low. At the moment, we've got to wait till the rains come, fill it up a little bit more, then your power boat can go in there. But at the moment, it's pretty shallow all the way out there. It's probably only around 200 mils deep, millimeters that is, depth. Not 200 mils as in litres, but 200 mils as in 20 centimetres. Now at the moment, this is a removable sign. Um, when that sign goes down, you can actually bring your jet ski boats, power boats, skiing, etc, etc. So keep an eye on the website. It will tell you if it's too low or too high. If not, Rod, um, send an email, which is underneath, the email underneath. Um, or if not, you can ring. Phone number's underneath again, give her a ring, uh, Teresa, uh, and she'll let you know whether you can actually bring your boat out here or not. But at the moment, it is too low. Talk to you soon, Ted. I hope you like Lake Broadwater. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, turn notifications on, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great weekend.